Creed III marks a significant milestone for Michael B. Jordan as he ventures into the world of directing for the first time. In addition to directing, he reprises his role as Adonis Creed, the son of legendary boxer Apollo Creed. As a fan of the previous Creed films and the Rocky franchise, I was eagerly anticipating this installment, not only to see the continuation of Creed's story but also to witness Jordan's directorial prowess. The film showcases Creed's growth and success both in his boxing career and personal life. However, a twist occurs when Damien, a childhood friend and former boxing prodigy, returns to the scene after serving a lengthy prison sentence. Jonathan Majors delivers a captivating performance as Damien, whose re-emergence sets the stage for a confrontation between the two friends turned rivals. The dynamic between Creed and Damien is complex, driven by their shared history and unresolved issues. It's intriguing to see how their relationship unfolds and how they challenge each other both physically and emotionally. It's important to note that Sylvester Stallone's Rocky Balboa is absent from the film, and there are behind-the-scenes issues regarding ownership of the character that have been publicly discussed. However, let's focus on discussing Creed III itself. As a first-time director, Michael B. Jordan impressively handles a project of this magnitude, being both the director and the star. The film is well-made, showcasing great fight sequences that are clearly inspired by anime. The opening scene includes a flashback where young Creed has a Naruto poster on his wall, indicating Jordan's upfront acknowledgement of his anime inspirations. This adds a unique and visually exciting element to the fight scenes, with Jordan employing techniques such as slowing down the action to highlight Creed's analytical approach to combat. As an anime fan, I found these moments particularly thrilling and appreciated Jordan's willingness to share his influences. Beyond the adrenaline-fueled fights, Creed III also explores the emotional side of the story. The relationship between Creed and his young daughter brings a heartfelt dimension to the film, underscoring Creed's growth as both a fighter and a father. These tender moments provide a balance to the intense boxing sequences and further deepen our connection to the characters. While the absence of Sylvester Stallone's Rocky Balboa may raise questions for some viewers, Creed III demonstrates that Adonis Creed has become a compelling character in his own right. Michael B. Jordan's portrayal of Creed has solidified his place as the franchise's focal point, and his performance in this film is no exception. Additionally, Jordan's directorial debut shines through in the film's overall quality. Taking on such a significant project as a first-time director, while also carrying the weight of being the lead actor, is no small feat. Yet, Jordan rises to the challenge, delivering a well-crafted movie that balances action, emotion, and character development. In conclusion, Creed III is a testament to Michael B. Jordan's talent, both as an actor and as a director. The film showcases his passion for anime and his ability to translate that passion into visually stunning fight sequences. It explores the complexities of relationships, particularly Creed's troubled history with Damien, portrayed superbly by Jonathan Majors. While the absence of Rocky Balboa may leave some fans questioning, Creed's character and the established storyline make the film captivating in its own right. Overall, Creed 3 is a highly enjoyable and impressive addition to the franchise, and I highly recommend watching it. If you've enjoyed our movie reviews, discussions, and recommendations, I kindly ask you to consider hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel. Thanks for joining us today. Have a wonderful day ahead.